Hello Libra, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your general reading for February. Let's pull some energy for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, we have Honesty. I can't always accept the truth from others, but I can accept it from myself. And we have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So Libra, let's get some more energy for you. Let's see. What energies do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Give me a message, spirits. Holy love. Okay, this may turn out to be a love reading. Let's see what happens. At the bottom, we have healing energy. You know what, Libra? I'm feeling like you're healing after someone was dishonest with you. I feel like there's someone in your life who um, may not have been able to be honest about something. They've been holding something back, kind of keeping a secret that you weren't aware of and I feel like that's making you not trust we also have gossip okay yeah I, I feel like someone's probably told you something something's probably exposed some kind of truth some kind of situation um, maybe a love issue that you're dealing with it could be work because we do have holy love here um, so it may be a love issue. It may be someone that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of gossip. Somebody's talking about something. And I feel like someone has expressed some kind of gossip that you were not aware of. You know, someone's been keeping secrets. Let's get into the tarot. Let's see what other messages we can get for Libra. The Four of Wands. Okay, Fire. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Wow, okay. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this may be dealing with some kind of work issue. There's a lot of money energy. Or maybe dealing around money issues. We have the Two of Swords. Some kind of choice. Some kind of decision you have to make. The Three of Wands. The Five of Wands. And the Seven of Wands. Okay, your overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. And the, of course, these two cards wanted to fall out, so I'm going to go ahead and take them. We have the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords. Okay. And like I said, at the bottom, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, Libra. I feel like with this Four of Wands right next to the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, someone wants some kind of reconciliation. Someone wants to kind of come clean. Um... They want a, a new beginning. You know, tens are completions. Tens are also endings. This may be... You know what? This may be you losing something because of gossip and rumor. Maybe did you lose your job? 
over gossip and rumors, someone went back and said something that you weren't aware of. And now they want to apologize. They want to reconcile. They're sorry that you had this loss because we also have this, this five of swords here as well as the five of wands. That's conflict, chaos, competition. Hmm. And we also have the ten, I mean, the ace of pentacles right above it. And you, you, there's some sort of completion and then you, you move into this new beginning. So I believe maybe something that you lost was financial. You know, the Ten of, of Pentacles, that can also be abundance. That can also be something happening with your job. Um, and you're able to start over. Maybe you were able to work things out with the, this gossip and rumor. Um, but I feel like... I'm feeling like there is some loss here because you're defending yourself. You're protecting something that's very important to you. And maybe you're protecting this new beginning. Maybe you're starting a new job because of something that happened. Or maybe you're moving to a different department because of somebody. Um, but I feel like... I feel like with this ace of pentacles this is a new beginning and the seven of pentacles you're planting seeds you're planting seeds for some kind of venture but i feel like with this five of swords energy you're kind of conflicted maybe something didn't work out exactly as you had planned even though you may have received some kind of new gift new beginning it just didn't work out the way you expected. So you're you're planting seeds to kind of move into a better position. Because I feel like with this two of swords energy, I feel like these are important decisions that you're making. I feel like there's something that needed to be compromised. There was a choice that you just could not stand by, even though you wanted to. Hmm. We have the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands, this is about waiting for something to happen. This is waiting for some kind of outcome. So I, I really feel like, you know, something didn't happen the way you wanted to. You had some choices to make. And you're in the waiting period. But I feel like with this Five of Wands energy, I feel like there's a lot of competition. There may be a lot of people trying to go for the same kind of situation that you're looking at. Maybe you're in business for yourself and there's a lot of competition. Maybe you have applied for a promotion and there's a lot of employees that provide that applied for the same promotion but i feel like there's a lot of competition in something that you're working for and you're waiting for some kind of results you're waiting for some kind of communication but i feel like while you're waiting you're kind of protecting your energy you may be keeping the outcome to yourself you know i feel like you're not telling anybody about this situation you're kind of waiting for some kind of answer to come through before you even say anything you're holding the secret to yourself um, maybe that's the reason why we have the honesty here i feel like you you only feel like you can be honest with yourself you don't feel like anybody else has your best intention at heart you know um but we have the knight of wands energy so i feel like while you're waiting, you're kind of taking action. You're moving forward. You, you are going for something that you're very interested in. Something that sparked your energy. You're, you're like moving towards that energy. Whatever this is. Hmm. 
Give me some more messages, Spirit. Tell me more about this. What is this Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles? Tell me about this Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. What is this energy? The Five of Cups. Yeah, there's something that you let go of. Or there's something that you lost. And now someone wants to come back and apologize for what it is that you lost. I feel like you you kind of have a lot of regrets about this situation. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Temperance. Yeah, you're trying to find balance, but I feel like while you're trying to find balance, while you're trying to find that harmony in your space, you're trying to make plans for the future, you know, take control of the situation. I feel like that is why we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. You know, you're planting seeds for some kind of new beginning. You're going to move into a different situation. And I feel like you're planting seeds to, to move in that direction, you know, to kind of take control of the situation, to get your balance back. With the seven, excuse me, with the five of swords, we have the four of cups. So, yeah, I, I feel like there's something that you're conflicted. And you may be kind of overthinking the situation, Libra. I feel like maybe you are thinking of too much about what could happen and not just trying to see what is going to happen. You know, you, you're too caught up in the what ifs. What if I'm not good enough for whatever this is? What if this happens and it messes it up? What if this person, you know, don't give me this? Or, you know, you're, you're too caught up in the what ifs. You're too caught up in your head. You know, it's time to step a little bit back and reevaluate so that you can be less conflicted and more precise. Because with the, the Two of Swords, this is making choices. This is the need of making an important choice, making blind choices, you know. Um, so I feel like, yeah, you need to step back from the situation, not think so much about it, not, not be so much in your head about it, and just... Let the universe do its work because you have the world. So I feel like you have success in this situation, Libra. You have your success. So I, I feel like the choice may actually make itself, you know. I feel like someone is making the choice for you because you you have the need to make a choice, but you're waiting for some kind of situation to come through to make your choice. Something's coming complete. Something is coming in your favor. You know, with the world card, this is success. This is something being complete. You've reached this goal. And now this is a new chapter that you're walking into. Very interesting, Libra. Very interesting. What is this five of, of wands, seven of wands? Tell me more about this five of wands, seven of wands spirit. The three of cups. Yeah, to, okay. So to where you are in this competition and you're kind of protecting, you're, you're defending something. You know, you are... You're kind of battling your way through it. You have the Three of Cups. So this is the divine stepping in to support you through this action. I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know, take action and then let me do the rest. You know, I, I feel like they're just telling you to just be assertive and then let the divine do its work. You know, because you are being supported. You are being protected. Um, 
there's someone who has your back in this situation. Very interesting. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands? The Six of Wands. Yeah, what did I tell you? You have success. You're being recognized. Spirit is lifting you up on this pedestal, letting you know how valuable you are and how victorious you are. You know, um, I feel like with this... With this Knight of Wands energy and the Six of Wands, Spirit is letting you know to just make the steps. Be assertive. Take action. Don't sit still. You know, make your moves. Because by doing that, you're going to be successful. You're going to be recognized. Don't think so hard about the situation. Just take action. Just do it already. You know? And Spirit is letting you know, I got you. Make the move, I got you. Make the move, babe, I got you. That's, I, I feel like that's what Spirit is telling you in this situation. Tell me more for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Tell me more about this message. Yeah, the strength. You have the strength, the perseverance, the know-how, the knowledge. You have what you need to get through this situation and any other. So this is just one more of the hurdles that's going to push you into this new chapter of your life. This is just a completion. And the things that happened had to happen in order to push you into the right position into the right path to push you towards your destiny and not towards the wrong direction. Does that make sense? And this is also knowing your self-worth, knowing how valuable you are. I feel like spirit just wants you to know that you have value. You are loved. You are protected, Libra. Beautiful energy, Libra. Okay, let's get some more message. Yeah, the nine, the nine of wands. Okay, this nine of wands is letting me know for you to be persistent. The fight isn't over. It may take a while. It may take some energy, but put your energy into this with great focus because whatever energy that you put into this, I feel like you're going to get back tenfold uh, because we're like moving into this nine of wands and then knight of wands, six of wands. You know, we're moving away from this five of wands and the seven of wands. You know, we no longer have this competition and protection or competition and setting some kind of standard. We have victory and recognition. You are valued, Libra. Yeah, exactly. Slow wins the race. Be strong. Be stable. Stand on solid ground. Because I, I feel like that's what you are, Libra. I feel like you are solid ground, you know? Uh, whatever this is, is going to come... You know, it, it may feel like it's moving at a slow pace, but slow wins the race. That That is what you need to think about. Slow wins the race. Because when you're building wealth, as long as you do it slow and steady, you know, that wealth is going to keep building. That wealth is going to keep growing. That wealth is going to make you stronger. The, the more you gain, the more momentum you get, you know. It, it, sometimes they say that, you know, fast money is always fast money. It comes fast and it goes fast, you know. But if you take the slow and steady route, just have some patience. Build your stability. And now with this Knight of Pentacles, this may also be a person who's very reliable. 
that's coming to help you through this situation. This also has to do with the hard work that you put into the situation. You know? Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So whatever you're building, Libra, you're building wealth. You're building longevity. You're increasing your resources. You know, you are taking care of business. And I feel like you're on the right path to doing it. You just have to get out of your head so much. Stop overthinking the situation. Kind of stay to the point. Be precise in your actions. You know, sometimes if we take action, just be assertive. Spirit points us in the right direction, moves us onto the right path. And I feel like that's kind of the situation. Yeah, you have the King of Swords. You have the Queen of Pentacles. You have the King of Swords. You have the Knight of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like some kind of truth is coming for you. This is a breakthrough. So you're moving into this new chapter and you've moved into this new situation you're gaining your success you're gaining a large breakthrough something is coming in with a huge amount of abundance look at this we have queen of wands at the bottom so definitely some kind of large abundance this is fire energy this is building your confidence your self-assurance this is being able to be kind of feisty with your energy you know um, just take action and it's going to gain momentum, whatever it's doing. I feel like, you know, what this is, is putting you, it's taking you away from one path. Maybe it wasn't the right thing. Maybe it wasn't the right situation, the right time or the right uh, idea. But I feel like spirit is moving you slowly to the right idea, to the right motion, to the right movement. So whatever you lost, Libra, you are going to gain a new chapter, new abundance, you know. And I, I feel like it's coming to you with a lot of success. Let's get some monology cards for Libra. Let's get some monology cards. See what that has to say. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. Don't think that it's not, Libra. Whatever you're putting, whatever energy you're putting into this situation, your hard work is paying off. You're going to get your reward. You're going to get your six of wands. You know, let's take a look. More energy for Libra, please. More energy for Libra. What other monology messages? Bring love into the situation. Yeah, this is holy love. Bring love into the situation. It could be some kind of project that you love to do. You may be turning a hobby into a business. Um, or you may be finding your love. Finding physical love during this time of gaining your wealth you know but i feel like bringing love into the issue is going to really make it worthwhile you know and we have communication is key so definitely being honest being open having the ability to you know, kind of give yourself a pep talk. Give yourself an idea. You know, sometimes when I get too caught up in my head, I just tell myself to shut up. <laughs> and I bring my thoughts back to kind of neutral so that I can move my thoughts into another direction. You know, that kind of takes me away from any negativity. It takes me away from any... Uh, thoughts are that are steering me away from the outcome. Does that make sense? Um, but you also have prosperity lies ahead. So I feel like with this situation, you're going to be very prosperous. 
whatever is coming through is going to bring in your bounty, um, Libra. Very interesting. We're going to get some Monology Manifestation cards. See, what does the Monology Manifestation cards need to say to Libra? Exactly. New Moon and Taurus, know your worth. You are valuable. You are protected. You have the ability to put your thoughts into action and bring them alive with abundance. We also have New Moon and Scorpio. Go deeper. So you may want to meditate. You may want to just sit back, relax your mind, and fall into thoughts of positivity. And when you think you haven't dived in enough, go a little bit deeper. You know, go into really affirming your actions. Um, say kind words to yourself. Say daily positive affirmations that are going to bring you more positivity into your life. Um, <laughs> at the bottom we have go wild. Exactly. Leo energy. The strength card. Beautiful. Beautiful. You have everything that you need. Libra. Everything you could possibly need. You already possess. Okay, we're going to get... We're going to get three more cards. And I feel like some of them already want to drop out. Yeah. Okay. So we have the Ace of Swords that wanted to drop out here. So I feel like this is definitely some kind of breakthrough. You're definitely going to come through some sort of epiphany, Libra, and it's going to bring you a lot of knowledge. The secrets are going to become revealed. Your path is going to be enlightened, you know? The moon is right here, but the sun is right behind it. So this is secrets that are being revealed, that are leading into your happiness, that are leading into your abundance. Let's see, we'll get one more card. <laughs> the Empress. Now, I only wanted one more card, but a bunch fell out, of course. We have the Empress. So I feel like whatever this is that you're attracting, you're bringing it into fruition, Libra. And I feel like you're bringing it in with full power because you have the Emperor as well. So whatever this energy is, this feminine, feminine energy is bringing in the masculine. So with this manifestation, the Empress, she can manifest anything that she'd like because she has that ability. The Emperor, he has the same ability, but he has control. He has authority over his situation. You also have the Page of Cups. So I believe with the Page of Cups, this is going to be something that's very unexpected. Something very unexpected is going to be exposed, revealed, given to you, gifted to you. You know, you also have the King of Wands. So I believe this is your fire. This is your assertiveness. Taking action, taking your power. The King of Wands, he's very close to the Emperor because they, they both hold powerful positions. They both have the power to take active action and put that straight into motion and be successful. You know, they, they take their actions in such a in such a way that it just, the success, the manifestation just, the manifestation just flows, you know? 
very strong energy. Very strong energy. I'm really liking this reading. At the bottom you have the two of wands. So I definitely feel you're, you're holding the world in your hand. You're making plans towards the future. You know, and I feel like the results that you're waiting for are right there in your hands. It's right there within your reach. You have the ability to move forward to it. So, Aries, just move. Just move towards your abundance. Towards what this victory is. Okay? Okay, Libra, that is what I have for you. So, Libra, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising once I get all of them uploaded. And Libra, to your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.